So, so 12 a.m. So let's run this thing 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. Because daylight savings time is fixing to happen. If you start to see where it gets dark at 5:30, back it up to like five o'clock. Okay, that's how you. All right. Now this is how we're going to do it. It tells you right here in the window. Press the plus sign to change it. All right. Let me. Okay. So hit the plus. That's timer one. We don't want to change that. So it tells you go to the next. Now we got it at 2100. Good on that. Okay. So we're going to go to the next one now. 12 a.m. So we're going to change that to 6 a.m. To 6 a.m. 6:30. Okay. <laughs> we're going to hit this arrow to move to, to the to get this one flashing. And, and we go to 6:30 p.m. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. And then we're going to hit this arrow. Yes, seven we want days seven days. Oh, that's what the S7D means. Okay. That's right. Timer one is set up. Now we can go to timer two. Okay, do you want it to run 24 hours? If you do, we can have it come on at 6 p.m. on a different speed and go down to like 1,500 RPMs. It'll still keep your water generating, but this thing is going to go way down. Um, or we can t turn it off. Your chemicals are great. Everything looks good in it. I'm going to show you okay. that. Um, so if you just want to stick with that. Let's stick with that. All right. So it'll go off. Okay. So you won't hear any noise from 6 to 6. So see, there was timer 2, timer 3, it was off, three. timer 4. You so you timers. can set up all kinds of different times on here. Okay. End of menu. It says menu. press menu. Now it's settings, settings changed. We, we did change them. So plus to save. Now, what when it shuts going? off and back on, it's going to go to the prime mode. The prime mode means it's pulling, it's going to go up to max speed so we can pull all the water and get the pump running. Okay. And then after a minute, uh, okay, 46 so seconds, I, I, so I guess I got yours set up for a minute. Okay. When that prime it's going to drop to the 2100. Right now it's at 36 or whatever the max is. Yeah, it's up at the max. You hear how? Yeah. She's cooking. <laughs> but it does that because it wants to get the suction going and get all the water turning. Do I get the, if I push one of these, I can set You don't have speed? to touch any of that. You can, there's no need in doing okay. it. Uh, but that's All you gotta do is go into here, if you want to increase the speed at a later time, you know, take it up to 2800 RPMs. There she goes. She's telling she's dropping to 2100. Okay. And she will end at 630. At 630, it's gonna go off. Okay. And then tomorrow morning, it'll crank itself back up. Now. Oh, this stuff in there. Okay, go ahead. Just... This is your salt. And you want, it tells you on here on the door. Okay. It tells you where, where you know, recommended pool chemistry. Mm -hmm. So it tells you on your chlorine. It wants you between one and three parts per million. Parts per million. Mm -hmm. And your wife may have them. The strips. There they are. I bought some more too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's telling you. It's saying chlorine, one to three parts per million. So it's telling you there in the green, that, that right there, one to three. Chlorine. That's your free chlorine. There, so That's right. So if it gets up in there, it's a little high. Okay. And what you can do, well, I'm going to get this going back generating. When I turned it on, it says power and generating. Mm -hmm. that, that tells you that that T cell over there is doing what it's supposed to do. As the water comes through, salt is sodium chloride. Mm -hmm. All right. So that little cell right there. Uh, by electric, electrical, it has a, plus, a, a positive side and a negative side. When the water flows through there, it uses electricity to get rid of the sodium, and what you have left is chlorine. Mm -hmm. All right. So where's the waste? So this is what that? it's telling you: 2,700. Is what your chlorine, your your parts per million. Is. Where does it? And so it'll tell you right here. Yeah. Well, salt, on your salt 27 to three. Yeah, salt 27 to 34. That's so really, what you want to do is keep it at about 3,100. 31? 3,100. Okay. Okay. Because every system is different. That's right. So initially, when you put the salt in there, it may go up a little bit higher, yeah, but that's fine. All right. So yeah. when you see these lights flashing right here, uh -huh. 
That means it's still generating chlorine, but it's telling you, hey, you better check me. So your chlorine's at 2,700, so it's starting to get low. Hello. Your system's still generating. Oh, okay. It's flashy. And okay. once they go steady, she's going to tell you, I'm okay. off until you fix me. And that means we're going to go throw a bag of salt in this thing. Oh, so that's twenty seven hundred. So don't rely on this to, to make the salt. This just maintains it? Or? That makes it, and that, that tells this thing where it's at. So if that makes it, then why do we need to add bags? Because it's not Well, no, enough. what it does is it was where I want you to keep it. Uh -huh. We're at 27, so this one bag. More. How much is in that bag? It's a 40 pound bag. 21, I mean 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, yep. Mm -hmm. 40 pounds. And so one bag gives you 400 parts per million. Yeah, you can get salt at Lowe's, Home Depot. Oh, don't, don't go to a pool store? No, <laughs> no they're going to charge you more money. That's well. So just lay it right here on your deep end. Okay. Take your knife, cut the bag. And that's a fine salt. Yeah, so people will tell you, oh, I got a salt pool. Well, <laughs> part of that's true. But if your kids were to dive in right now, they'd say, ooh, this tastes like the ocean. But after it circulates, Salt's going away, remember? Because the uh, machine, oil, yeah. Turns, turns it into chlorine. So and the only time they're going to think we got salt in the water is every Saturday. Is initially, when you throw a bag in there. Every Saturday. So then take your broom and try to and suck it up. You got this in little there. lip right here. Just sweep it off that lip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're going to sweep this into that drain until it dissolves. So, how long have you been doing this? Well, I did. I used to wire all these pools. I did all the electrical work for all oh, these pool yeah, contractors. Oh yeah, yeah, ET. <laughs> and Chad, he found out that I was in the military, and he said uh, he kept telling me all the time, "Man, you need to come work for me." Oh, okay. Like a superintendent. Though, yeah. You know? Oh, well, leadership. What are you offering me? The leadership, really. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, "What are you offering me?" <laughs> He'd give me a number. I'd laugh at him. No, I'll stay wiring these things. <laughs> and, then he, and then he'd see me a month later, you know, be wiring one of his pools. And he'd say, man, you need to come work for me. I'm going to pull that player out. Uh -huh. I love that. I'm going to call him and ask him if there's something he want to interested in. Mm. Right now he's right, he works for Amazon. Does he? Uh, driving. Oh, okay, Deliver driving. Deliveries and stuff. Does they so. pay pretty good? He in San Diego. So, oh, yeah. you know, I don't... Yeah. That cost, that cost of living is, man, you know. Yeah, I was out there for boot camp. Year yeah. Ago, 19, 1979. <laughs> 79. Three years old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Great Lakes is. Well, know. that's what Chad, I, well, that's what he would tell me all the time. Uh -huh. He's an old man. You'll be digging these. Because I get these young guys out here, bud. And you show them up? Yeah, I have not passed out on the curb over there. Basically, turn the pump off. I can open that lid. I can clean that out. I can go to my skimmer, clean that basket out, never, and I'm telling you, to prevent your hardships later on. Put your, stop your pool before you change the basket on the skimmer. Stop the pool before I change the basket? Yes, okay. stop the suction. Okay. So that way when you pull the basket out to go clean it, especially because eventually we're gonna have leaves. Okay. When it gets clogged up with leaves, turn your pool off so that no, nothing's being sucked in there. Wash out your, skimmer basket and come back and get all those other leaves that are still floating around in there okay clean them up put them in your basket go dump it make sure the whole skimmer's clean okay then put your basket back in you can start your pool again start it so stop okay. yeah because what happens is if you pull that basket out and the pool's still running you can do it yeah i did it once mm -hmm. leaves will go down whatever's still in there yeah. a lot of times they get stuck in the flat and they'll go oh. in your pipes yeah and when it comes winter time about two or three times a week i've got a little contraption because they call the office and they need a service call because their skimmer's not pulling water anymore. Um, and I have to go out there and I have to hook up a contraption here and at your skimmer. And I, 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 I a little plumber's helper and I push it down in the pipe and it builds up pressure. And, and you'll see a, a geyser come out of there with leaves and everything. Because what happens is they accumulate in the pipe. And after long, they, they, you they will clog see. your pipe up. And you guys have only got one skimmer. Yeah. All right, so you, I mean, you really know the difference. You'll start to see that thing bubbling up, and hissing. You'll know, some, hey, wait a minute, I, either the water's too low, all right? So that's the reason why we put a valve on the skimmer, all right? My recommendation, let's go ahead and turn your pool back on, 
If you're leaving for a week and you have no pool service, anybody to watch it, mm -hmm. okay? This is what I do to mine. Remember, it's going to go that priming mode. Yep, so I'll leave 36. When I go, I take my, I put my skimmer barely open when I go on vacation. Okay. And the reason being is because if the water gets down below my skimmer, oh, yeah. my pump will still, it's still going to pull from the main drain. But I, it's not going to be a, a big hissing noise in my, uh, in my skimmer. Okay, and nothing else is going to get sucked in there. All right, so then when you come back, you know, you can go back because you're going to be checking it every day. Mm -hmm. You know, this sucking noise, your flap could be stuck on the skimmer, or there could be, it could be clogged up full of crap. You need to turn it, come over here and just stop it. And take it out. Empty it and get it going, especially the pool toys. I find them. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, and they'll get in that skimmer. I, the other day when I was out here vacuuming, did you see me take everything out? Then yeah. pool noodles will get sucked in there and they'll clog it up. I know, that's why I try, I try to take them we'll out. Take but it out after we yeah, so. Yeah. But this right here is your waste hose. Now, why would if I. If you get a gully washer, if we ever see rain again. Okay. All right, and it fills up your pool, that, that little overflow is there to, to get it to the level, but it'll right. take. Remember, I'm, back six months ago, we had about three or four days in a row where right. it just yeah. poured yeah. all the time. Yeah. Okay, well, your overflow is not going to catch up with it. Okay. So you don't want your, uh, the good thing is you got a fiberglass pool. It's not like it's a liner. Okay. Liner, you never want it to get in the top because it'll get in behind it oh, and yeah. it'll float that float liner. Back, yeah. But still, you don't want the water. So the way to do it, keep your pump running, pull that hose and it stretches all the way over to your fence mm -hmm. and open that valve. Until and it goes pump down. All this water, but I put it in the dirt because mm -hmm. The water you're pumping out it's got chemicals it's in there. So if you pump it straight in your grass, it'll kill it. Yeah, okay, gotcha. So that's why I ran gotcha. it. It'll go to the corner of that dirt down there. So we'll put it towards the other, the other neighbors. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hey, I had, a mound. I had a mound on one of them. They dug a trench underneath there while they were building a new house. Really? They put a pipe. That's a good idea. He hard piped. Oh. He came out of there with a piece of pipe and ninety it over and then ran it down in his huh. backyard. Eventually, though, the old guy, so, like, what they it? saw a pipe back there. like, what in the heck? Oh. Oh. And they started tracing the pipe. And it came up to his pool. So, he, <laughs> yeah. so then he, all he had to do, they cut, cut it, it right there and ran it down his length of fence. Yeah, I think that's what they But a lot of times people on the waistline, and that's what they'll do, though. Especially if you guys had a sand filter and you had to backwash it all yeah, the time. That's... This thing right here is they will last a long time. If you let it get out of have it hand, don't take care of them, they're $800 to replace just the four filters in here. Yes, sir. All right. All right. They're not warranty. So every six now, months. Now, they're warranty the if something happens, man, ma malfunctions with them. Okay. They're not warranty if they're dirty. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so about every six months. Uh -huh. um, what I do on mine is right before the swimming season, you know, in the early spring, uh -huh. I clean them then. And then when the season's over, hot ground right now, October, yeah. November, I clean them again. Oh, and so then you they're just good. have to clean them. You don't have to replace them. No, okay. just got to clean them. And the okay. ease, I'll come out here. If you'll call the office first time, if you, when you hit that window, I'll come out and tell them, hey, we need somebody to clean our filters. Okay. All right? And then I'll go back to the office because that's, that's above and beyond. So usually she'll try to throw a service charge on there. Okay. And then, but don't worry about it. You just get okay. me to come out here. I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. But it can be tricky the first time, yeah. so I'll show you how to do it. And then when I go back to the office, I tell them, "Hey, look, them things, you know, had all kinds of stuff in from me. Here, we'll do. I'll do it with you the first time. Okay. And, so and all you gotta do is take this off, and this little clamp comes off. The lid pops seal. off. I saw it on YouTube. Filters. You pull them out. We're gonna take a spray hose, and we're gonna clean them inside now. But, but not put too them hard. back in. Put it back on. The only tricky parts when you put it back, back on. on. Isn't there a seal? I saw somebody put There's a, a gasket. Uh, uh, and yeah, I a got gasket some, little, some lubricant. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what people forget to do. And that gasket is pretty expensive too. And that gasket cracks and all that. But if you yeah, keep exactly. it lubed up when you put it back on. Um, it's three. Is a red, green. What's the black one for? The PSI is that the? What's that? Actually, that's where we're gonna put it. Okay. <laughs> right. So what's ha what it's telling me? I put the green over the black. Okay. That's what your per your PSI is. Okay. All right. So when it starts increasing and hits up here to the red, it's telling you that there's the more pressure, the, the more pressure's in here, the less it's filtering. The filters are getting clogged up. It should run real low PSI. 
when they start getting dirty, okay, then that's when the pressure will start building up because the water is restricted. It's not flowing as good. Now, this is a, uh, that's only a, a, by comparison, that's a small pool. This should be more than enough. Plenty. That's mm -hmm. why your pool, as soon as I, yeah. I came out, remember the one day after that concrete, yeah, it looked it was bad. bad. Yeah. It didn't yeah. take a half a day once we got to get, uh -huh. once, once you swept it. Once I got all the big stuff out of the concrete out of it, buddy, I mean, I came back out the next morning, that thing was crystal clear. Uh -huh. This puppy's doing its job. Yeah. So, and that's the advantage of these cartridge filters. Yeah, that's why I, I told your husband that Ronnie will be out here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. He's going to fix that where you can open the lid. Okay. They're going to raise the pipe up a little bit. Yeah, all gotcha. this stuff is okay. weathered. Uh, resist oh, absolutely. it, whatever. Absolutely. Okay, so we don't have to cover it. No, that's what I'm basket. talking about. It's Saturday morning. Oh, this Saturday morning. <laughs> Saturday morning. Okay. Uh -huh. well, so this is the basket that you turn off, not that one. It turns that one off too. I know, but both of them. So, so I, I got my pull off now. I'm gonna clean this basket and I'm gonna and clean that, that basket. One. Okay, so this is what screws off, or all you gotta do is pop right. it right there. Oh, I see. It's got a gasket in there on that too, so you want to be careful it doesn't fall out on you. Okay. And when I, before I put it back on, I always make sure there's no grit in there. Oh yeah, okay. Mess up the seal. Yep. Yeah. See this? This got some rock in there and stuff. Knock it out. Saturday morning. <laughs> That's it. You want to take the hose and get it sparkling clean? We'll blow the rest of that stuff out. Oh. Yeah. And then this uh and this hole only the goat this basket will only go, go one, one way. way. Okay. And that's for the So let's say you come over and oh. Oh. don't try to force it. We can call somebody. <laughs> See that hole? It goes oh, with it goes the pie. Right okay. See how it just fell right back down mm -hmm. in there. And then we're just gonna take the lid. And mm -hmm. that's about as tight as you need it. Yeah, you don't have to be a Hercules and beat on it till it's so tight. We're gonna hit resume. Thirty-five. See, the water's gone out of there, and that's yeah, why. That's why the priming mode. We want it. We want it to ramp up all the way. Keep pulling water in your pipe, mm -hmm. and that's all you need. It's not gonna burn that pump. It's gonna get more and more and more. You see, fixing the light off. <laughs> and when I mean light on, you have to get a full oh, head. Right. When that water's hitting up here, we call that a full head. So when it's max speed, it'll it'll be up there like we saw it tight. Yeah, okay. There she goes. We put a bag of salt in there to get your. Uh, Oh, so it's one of the red. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Only 900. Okay. So probably tomorrow, maybe the next day, put the other bag. In. You can go on the higher side. Yeah. So you don't forget about it. What's the day? Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, throw it on. Maybe Saturday morning. You can wait. Saturday. So every plenty in there. We throw salt in there. Whatever. When that thing tells yeah. you. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. okay. Salt's for, uh, one bag of salt will bring up your PPM, oh, 400. 400 PPM. So that right now is reading 2,900. We want to keep 20. it at 3,100 if we can. Gotcha. It was 27. So we, it was 27. We put a bag in, okay, and it's now dropped down to 29. It brought it up to 2,900. So, that and that may be. It was yeah. 30 at first. Yeah, it was, it was at 3,000. Yeah, just So, it you know, another, it wouldn't hurt to throw that other bag in there right now, probably. But, okay. I mean, it's okay. You can throw it in there Saturday. Saturday it is. Okay. 